y'all welcome back to my channel so in this video we're gonna be trying the one minute hair mask by Garnier Fructis and my baby Zietti First, if you are new here, first off, welcome. On my old time subbies and congregation, the rain gang, happy curl gang, welcome back, sis. Hi, for another video. All right, so if you're a subscriber, appreciate you. If you're not, sis, the, it's free down below, okay? Um, if you're a subscriber, you've already seen my last video where I used a deep uh, conditioner as my leave in as a test, and it worked out fabulous. Um, and I actually got the idea from my little sister, <laughs> another influencer, um, Slim Roche, and we did a video together, so I'll leave the link down below. I got the idea from her because she actually used this as her leave in because the Garnier Fructis Smoothing Treatment One Minute Hair Mask can be used as a mask, as a conditioner, and as a leave in. Anyway, so while I am doing my wash and go, I wanted to just briefly, y'all know I'm gonna be doing long stuff now, okay? I want to briefly talk about the hug situation that you guys may have seen on Instagram. I don't know if this is possible, but can, can I give her a hug, please? Y'all know the story. If you do not know the story, um, I'll leave the links down below or you can simply Google, you'll find it. So I want to talk about that because I made a post on my Instagram and um, there was a, a video of his brother at the in the court um, asking for a hug. People were mad and I wanted to chime in and I said on my Instagram stories, I said, I want, I, I want to go in on this side. Man, I do, I really do. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just, it smells heavenly, Amen. it smells fruity kind of hard to explain but it smells really good i'm not concerned about this not working for me but you never know but so far it feels very good instantly feels quenched just like if your skin was dry and you put some lotion on and again i'm using this as a leave-in and not a rinse out you can use it for all three a mask leave-in or a rinse out conditioner so, so I really wanted to weigh in on the situation. I know what I have to say is not gonna be popular. I know that people may not understand. All right, I'm aware, but you know, that's the beauty of social media. That's the beauty of different people is that we have different opinions and nobody should really get upset over somebody's choices and opinions, especially if it's not affecting you specifically. Raymond, but um, I'm sure many of you, if not all, have seen the video, how he doesn't want Amber Geiger or whatever her name is to go to jail. He wants her to find Christ and he forgave her for killing his brother who was very innocent. And as you know, I believe they found some extra questionable things about her that she said about different races and preferably people that look like me on social media, at least on my feed, a lot of people were upset. And then I had a lot of my Christian friends who were here for it. I feel like a lot of Christians, people of faith, believers, whatever, we get misunderstood a lot because we are we are held on this pedestal of being Jesus Juniors and people don't realize that we are far from it. We stand and we fall short like everybody else um, who doesn't claim anything. And I want to put that out there that I, I don't, I'm not religious um, in my eyes and I'm not a person who's like, oh, I'm spiritual. I have a relationship with Jesus. Hey mom, that's my homeboy. Okay. And so I'm, I don't, I don't believe in the whole religion aspect of it um i believe that i have a relationship with god and i feel that's very different than having than focusing on religion here's my thing when you truly forgive somebody like y'all listen hear me hear me hear me hear me hear me true forgiveness it ain't nothing to play with like true forgiveness will have you doing things that you don't even understand yourself okay <laughs> Okay, I have been there and I can attest to it. I was a person who was like, I ain't forgiving that person. Like, we, I'm no, they're gonna hurt because I'm gonna stay mad. I'm gonna hold this grudge. Can't get mad at the forgiveness. Like, I just 
do not understand how someone can get mad at someone's choice to forgive. You understand that forgiveness is a choice and being offended and holding on to the offense and holding on to the grudge is also a choice. When you forgive and when you hold on, you are actually affecting yourself. This has everything to do with you and nothing to do with the other person. So if you're forgiving that person, you're doing it for you. You're not doing it for them. People don't see it like that, but forgiveness shows amazing strength. Holding on to a grudge, in my opinion, is weakness. The easy route because you don't have to forgive. Forgiveness is hard. I don't care what no pastor says. I don't care what nobody what nobody says about forgiving, especially if they've wronged you to like your core, where they betrayed you, they've hurt you, they've <laughs> did whatever. Um, forgiveness is hard because we're humans and we sometimes associate with forgiveness as forgetting. We associate forgiveness um, as letting someone off the hook. Um, it, it's just so many different reasons why a lot of us have difficulty forgiving. Very clear in the Bible. <laughs> 70 times 7 as we should forgive. And it doesn't matter what the offense is. It's really not until you actually experience true forgiveness then you can't relate to his choice in the way he chose to deal with his healing and his hurt. You don't know what that did to her. You don't know what that did to him. He's a believer. He already said he doesn't want to hold on to this hate. He doesn't want to hate her for the rest of his life. That makes you further understand that forgiveness is not for the other person. Forgiveness is for you. I would have looked at the situation very different had I not experienced forgiveness because I was so anti-forgiveness. And, and I hate to say anti-forgiveness, but I guess it's kind of what it was. Cause I'm the type of person, I'm I'm gonna give you chance after chance after chance, more than likely, depending on what it is, but more than likely, I don't just cut somebody off. Like if I cut you off, it's because you handed me the scissors. Please believe me. <laughs> That's why I think I used to hold on to offenses so much because I gave so many different chances. But even with that, that doesn't make me any better to not forgive somebody. I've been betrayed just like anybody by close people close to me, by people, you know, strangers, whatever. I've been offended, I've been betrayed, I've been hurt. And at that moment, it was my choice to forgive them for, for my own peace, for my own sanity. When I actually forgave, like truly forgave, I, f I, I really can't even express to you how that felt to like, I literally felt like I was holding like a 50 pound weight and it literally felt like somebody came behind me and just took it from me. And I just felt so light. <laughs> and I knew that was nothing but God because of my mindset prior. I have learned that we have to forgive the uh, apology that never happened. Um, wow. Absolutely, because it's for you. Forgiveness is for you. Yeah. You don't have to uh, be angry or bitter because this is God giving you a new beginning. Yeah. And that's how I feel. Like, I'm so free yeah. and so happy. And it wasn't until I experienced that to where I was, I've been able, y'all, hear me, okay? I've been able to pray for people who I know do not like me. Hello. I'm able to pray for people who has hurt me and to actually wish them well. I've been able to reconcile with people and I know that has not been anything but Jesus himself. Amen. Because... Y'all just don't know my thought process behind forgiveness. I was a grudge holder. So I think this is why like it kind of hits my heart the way it does with his choice and the way that he chose to to deal with his healing. Um, and then just like the backlash that he got. And it was like, black people were so forgiving and we're this and we're that. And it's like, you have to understand all of this that's happening in our life is much bigger then you can even imagine like everything like God has a plan we don't understand it but that's where our faith comes in because we're not going to understand everything we're not going to understand um at the age of 12 why your mom told you to do a b and c until you get older and until you get a child yourself and that child is 12 and you're like oh that's why my mama shared do this like we don't understand everything that god allows to happen in our lives and so you don't know what this is going to do for that woman you don't know what this is going to do for anybody in that courtroom you just do not know we live in a world where it's so um 
you do me dirty, I'm gonna do you dirty. Keep the same energy, I'm gonna have the same energy. Well, we don't understand like, okay, you, you, you trying to show your strength and stuff like that, but it's really not strength. Strength is turning the other cheek when you really want to be like, Oh, you lucky. You about to get it. You know what I mean? Strength is strength is doing something that is hard to do. I'll be very honest. I personally, hey mom, um, I, I think, you know, I, you know, I struggle. I've there's been a pre uh, Jesus Reina, okay, Amont, and you know, I still fall short. Y'all hear me short, Amont. Um, but I try. Even with that said, I personally would not have offered to give her a hug. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Now, Sopranos. No, ma'am. But I know that I would be able to forgive. I know that with the help of Jesus, help of Jesus, help of Jesus, my faith, prayer. I know that with God's help, I can forgive. Like, I don't believe in, in forgiving somebody and you have to let that person back in your life. I've done it before, but I've also done that to where it was like, I forgive you, but you gotta, like, we not cool no more. Like, that's just what it is. But and then I have my situations where I've forgiven or I was the one that needed to be forgiven and now we cool. Like, we A1. Like, nothing ever happened. There's, you know, there's levels to it. We're all different. Just the love of God that he exuded. I think people forget, even believers, like, God is love. What he did was very loving. <laughs> it's hard, but it's very loving. I'm not there yet. Amont, um, I I would not want to hug um and embrace. No, but I'm sure in whatever words I had to say um would express my forgiveness, if that makes sense. But yeah, that was what I really wanted to talk about because I felt it would be easier just to put it in an actual video. A lot of you guys wanted me to touch on the topic just to see like what I felt, which I thought y'all would already know. Like, come on now. Y'all would know I'd be here for the forgiveness, but I think maybe some of you guys were some of you guys were like, I don't know how she feels about the whole hug thing. So like I said, I would not hug, but I'm not judging him. I'm not mad that he chose to go that route. I feel like he really needs to do that. Like he was like shaking, like, can I give her a hug, please? Like I just want to give her a hug. He needed that. He needed that. So it's like the fact that you're upset is like, bro, like God says for us to treat people in the way that we would want to be treated. And people, you know, don't want to follow that example. And that's fine. You know, we, we tend to pick certain parts of the Bible that we want to follow. Come on, right somebody. Here, if you were like me dealing with unforgiveness in your heart, I'm going to actually leave a link down below of the sermon that I watched that helped me. I think it's like, maybe two minutes i'm telling you the freedom that you get from forgiving somebody is indescribable there are people who have died there are people who are living and have no clue that you are mad at them and they are living their life making their money buying a b and c laughing having the best time in their life and you over there mad holding on to a grudge and these people don't even know i mean ain't what? that a blip what you happened know? this ain't no star man <laughs> Okay, sometimes God will hold on to blessings because he's trying to teach you something, prune your heart and change your character and maybe just letting something go or letting that hurt go or letting, you know, forgiving that person that hurt you may be that key to opening the door for what God has for your life. Just take it, take it, take it, take it, exactly. And you just, listen, okay, you just don't know, okay? I'm just, you know, I've been there, I've done that, and I've learned from it, and I've been blessed. And I just want to share that. You know, people aren't going to like this video, that's fine. Our own differences, we have our own beliefs, we have our own opinions. And I believe everybody is entitled to them. I believe everybody should have their own belief systems. And you can't let people affect how you view things because they view things differently. Um, you don't have to agree with me. This is just, you know, my platform and my video to where I want to, one, weigh in on the situation and just express my own issue my journey of um of forgiveness so again if you you know deal with unforgiveness sis it's you know it's i believe it's normal it's natural even if you are a believer you're still human some things you just feel like are just unforgivable <laughs> like jesus himself forgave like he's getting nailed to the cross and he was like father forgive them for they know what they do 
we are called to forgive. And even Jesus said, being a Christian is not going to be easy. Being a follower of Christ is not going to be easy. And the great thing about Jesus is he gives you a choice. You ain't got to follow him if you don't want to. That's your purpose. That's your future. That's that's whatever you want to do. He gives you a choice. So you that's up to you. You don't, you don't have to do anything you don't want to do. At the same time, you just have to be mindful and study the Bible for yourself. Listen to pastors who are who you trust. Um, and then when they say certain things in their sermons, take down the scripture and look it up for yourself. He wants a relationship with you. When you have a relationship with God, you think about your relationships with your friends or your boyfriend, or your 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 um, your mom, whatever. You're, you're constantly in relation with them. Like you're talking to them, you're seeing them, you're spending time with them. It's the same thing with God. So anyway, I don't, you know, I didn't went off, you know, just, just call me Reverend Raina. Okay. No. Um, I, I just wanted to, you know, weigh in on that or whatever. I hope nobody was offended, but at the same time, it's like being offended is a choice. So you can choose to be offended off of what I believe and what I don't believe and, you know, whatever. But I would hope that, you know, we would all be respectful of what everyone believes and doesn't believe. And you don't have to agree, but let's just be respectful of one another. So far, my hair feels really good. I have not used a lot. You do not need a lot at all. Hey y'all, so my card ran out of space on my camera, but I want to come back. This is the next day. My hair felt great. I have a ton of body, shine, definition, fullness. I'm here for the Garnier Fructis. This stuff is amazing. I'd love to see how it feels for a mask, but as a leave-in conditioner, it's a one, especially underneath the wetline extreme gel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.